Behind the design, Michael Osborne on the new Beckett Cambric Promotions. On this webisode of Ask Mohawk, Michael Osborne is president and creative director of the San Francisco-based graphic design firm Michael Osborne Design. Established in 1981, the firm's work has been recognized for outstanding design by the West Coast Show, the AIGA, and the CLIOS, and is on display in the permanent collections of the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum in New York, and the National Postal Museum in Washington, D.C. Michael Osborne Design's portfolio includes work for Target, Walmart, Stanford University, the United States Postal Service, and countless wine and spirit clients such as Silver Oak Cellars, Jack Daniels, Robert Mondavi Winery, Behringer Blast Wine Estates, and Croix du Bois. Michael and his creative team designed the new Beckett Cambric Promotions for Mohawk Fine Papers, the Wine Guide Cover Sampler, and the Vignettes Proof Library. Uh, my name is Michael Osborne, graphic designer in San Francisco, designing mostly corporate brand identities uh, and packaging. The assignment was to promote the uh, Beckett Cam Cambric line, papers demonstrate printability, um, we pre presented several design directions um, that would do that promotion in different ways. And the one that was selected um, focuses on the wine world. The concept was to present design directions for uh, a potential wine bar uh, called vignettes. Uh, it made sense to us because there were the you know a lot of the words and properties um, of the paper that also are in the wine vocabularies, um, such as, you know, color and texture and finish underneath promoting the, the paper and demonstrating, you know, everything it can do is would be to appeal to designers. You have to get their attention uh, through the design and the aesthetics before they'll even look at the paper. And, and, uh, and that's, that's what we were thinking of. Wine is a subject that many people love. And we're right here at the foot of uh, Napa Valley and about a third of our business is the designing wine labels. So it's, it was a very natural thing for us to do. Everybody that sees it should have some affinity towards some part of it. Copy is constantly leading off with and referring to uh, the paper, and then it is con compared and uh, rolled into the language of wine. I think this linen paper looks awesome in, in uh, the way we've used it. In one piece, we get to demonstrate a, a paper's capability and uh, engraving and letterpress and foil stamping and, and die cutting and you know, all these specialty processes that you might not get to use for, you know, another year. And that's part of what makes these promotions, you know, successful, because we are de demonstrating the, the beauty of the paper. As a young designer, I think linen was, you know, one of the things that got us all excited. It, it's gone through a period of time where maybe it lost favor, and now the young designers, um, they weren't familiar with it, uh, almost to a, to a person. Uh, had they not even heard or used linen paper at all. It, you know, working on this project, throughout the course of the project, everybody would get excited about it. This is a paper that works for print materials, for folders, um, all the way up to, you know, using it for annual reports and um, packaging. The performance factor that, that we've demonstrated with the, with the texture and all the beautiful colors, uh, with the printability and all the different techniques that we've used, um, it, it adds, you know, it's another tool in our, our toolbox as designers to, um, you know, to use on our projects. Good paper should print you know, should print well, price of entry, right? But where we really um, were surprised were some of the these beautiful new colors uh, and how they printed and the, with the different techniques.